Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So today we are going to continue with the medieval flay. Uh, do you still remember the plan? Let me show you the plan. Well, this is the plan. I think this is a pretty good plan. Mustard piece. This is actually fully functional. I did not just glue it there. Everything is pretty much fully functional. All right, so let's continue with the competition piece. As I mentioned in the previous video, I unfortunately did not win anything, and some of you sent me messages that you want to see the winning pieces so the organizer of the competition has a website i will put the link into the description and uh, please click on it and check the winning pieces every single picture on that will be the category winner and uh, yeah i am i am obviously not on that level just yet it takes a bit of practice to get to that level please click on the link and check them out so let's continue so I am going to show you a bonus technique that probably not many of you use. So how did I draw on that twisted pattern that is on the handle and it flows really nicely? Well, I didn't. So I used the knife and if you put this knife in an angle on a piece that is spinning, this knife is going to travel automatically in one direction. Let me show you. This is not easy. Don't get hurt. Don't even try this. This is a stupid idea. So put the handle of the knife on. Find your angle. Whatever looks best. And just push it on. And you end up with this pattern. Carbide cutting bit. Now you just get the fire. So the next piece that I am going to put on the shaft of the weapon is probably the most complicated part of the whole thing even though the parts that are coming in later videos are pretty complicated but this is going to be really nerve wracking
So this one goes here, but now we are getting to the point when this thing is larger than my leaf. So this is pretty much the maximum I can turn. So you can see the tailstock is reaching over the leaf. So I could squeeze in like a couple of centimeters more, but not much more. And if you remember, for the end I still have this one. So it is going to be even longer. What do you think? It's not bad. There will be guys there who would laugh at this. That's the level. So, this was the easy part. And now, I am going to do something that is a little bit more difficult. Let's get to it. Okay. I done this before, it worked before, so it should work now. Let's do it. went upstairs, took a break, and that's when I got an idea. And this idea is really risky, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not easy, and it's very nerve-wracking, but it can be done. So this is pretty much a new technique. At least it's new to me, i never seen anybody using this before, but if you have seen it, put it into the comment section. So I'm going to show you a new wood turning technique.
so everything is glued in but if you try to turn it like this immediately when you touch it with the chisel it's going to break into million pieces so what I figured is I have to put in spacers between them but I have to glue them in so they don't fly away but I have to be able to take them out so it was a challenge for me to figure this out Don't under any circumstances change chisel. The smaller is the better. Whatever you do, don't change chisel. Mustard piece. Next week, I am going to show you how to do this. Thank you for watching.